Hey guys, in this video, I will tell you of some retailers that closed before for my estimate of the of the birth of Lucy Pivensi. From a video rental giant that refused to change with the times, to a crumbling electronic superstore, here are all the six retailers. Number six, best. One of many stores to ha have their logo, to have enough brains for their logo at all capital letters of increasing size. They had a lot of good stuff. And they were known for each for their unique architecture. Yeah, but they went bankrupt and closed their stores in 1997. Even even if you didn't go to these stores when you were growing up, you still are the best. Number five, Borders, who didn't love stopping for some caribou coffee and reading a bunch of magazines and then leaving empty-handed. The first sign of down was that Kmart bought them in 1992. And then, Borders w told Amazon to just stop doing that, and they launched their own idiotic website. In 2011, they closed for good. People still shop at Barnes & Noble, but had no idea it was a different store. But had no idea it's about it being a different store. Number four, Builder Square. If you don't, if you don't remember going there, you know that Lowe's and Home Depot are still a thing. Builder Square er, was known for selling tools and stuff. As well, well as so, at, and, and they were a subsidiary of Kmart. They were di they didn't do so well in the 1990s. Even America's favorite handyman couldn't save them. They also went bankrupt and closed all their stores in 1997. Number three, Ames. Ah, yes. One of our favorite retailers that some have even fond some that some have fond memories of going to. It was okay in the 1970s and 80s, but by the 90s they weren't doing so well, and it was worse after they acquired the Hills chain. In 2002, they closed up shop, leaving behind. Some Leaving behind um, eyesores, still, still with their letters, still with their lettering. Number two, Circuit City. Nothing like walking into a massive, nothing like walking into a red plug just to pay full, re just to pay full retail price on the hair products. It was okay in the 1980s, but by the 1990s, when we were already circuit, when we were already be sick of the uh, stupid and idiotic return policy. Best Buy was one of the determining factors into their closure, as well as Walmart. In 2009, they went bankrupt and clo closed up store and closed up their stores, leaving behind red eye sores. Number one, Blockbuster. Ah, uh, yes, the video rental store. Or a chain that was better than Mr. Movies. And nothing like the lights of the store being turned on for that promised a great movie night. Blockbuster could have. And they were okay in the 1980s. And they were okay in the 1980s. And. And, and times were changing when the 1990s came in. They could have bought Netflix, but didn't. They almost bought Circuit City, but didn't, which was a good move. And they were getting their 
Huts kicked by Netflix and Redbox. In the 2010s, in the 2010s, they closed up shop, leaving behind some blue eyesores.